starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. What's that? I don't know. Don't he know any better than to plug that wagon right down the middle of the yard? He usually does. No better, I mean. Jerk! He's probably in the house. Well, send him out. <laughs> Farm doors open. Chickens out in the wet. See? Hinges squeaking. Jeff! Send Jeff out. He's not here. I'm going to let that wagon sit there till it rots. It ain't harder here than it did in town. Thanks, dear. I ain't gonna move that wagon, Ellen. I'm just gonna leave it set. He left his books out in the rain, too. Oh. Getting too big for his britches. I gotta cinch him up a little. He's usually pretty careful with his things. What time is it? 5.30. Clock's fast. I got 5.25. Chores won't do themselves. What was that? Thunder. More rain coming. No, not the thunder. Huh? That's Lassie. She's in the barn. I thought I heard her whining when we came in. You said it was a squeaky hinge. Oh, Lassie. Oh, who tied you up? All right, girl. All right, all right. I don't understand this. I'm going to call the Brockways. You got a right to growl. I'd growl too if I had this thing around my neck. Come on, let's go. Phone's dead. Never seen it to fail. He ain't never had that dog tied up since he had her. What's the matter, girl? Where's Jeff? Go find Jeff, Lassie. Find him. Find Jeff, girl. around the wagon. I'll be in the milk house if you need me. All right, dear. Go find him, girl. Find Jeff. She doesn't know where he is. What about his bike? John. I 
I think maybe you'd better run off the Brockways. You tried the phone lately? Yes, still dead. Only part I don't understand is why Lassie was tied up in the barn. <laughs> Just rode his bike into the barn. You're out of the barn. Where's your collar and leash? Jeff, where have you been? Who untied her? I did. Now, come on in. Well, I don't want to run around loose. Since when? Since now. Why didn't you take her with you? I couldn't. Just a minute. It's 6.30. I know. Jeff, what's gotten into you? Excuse me. God bless you. Thank you. Where were you all afternoon? Can I go to my room, please? Well, no. Supper's ready. Now, wash up. I'm not hungry. Well, wash up and sit with us. Do I have to? Yes, I think so. We have some serious talking to do. Don't you think we have a right to know where you were until 6.30? Can I go to my room now, please? Now, look here, boy. You've got to get off your high horse. I'm not going to scold you, dear. For not putting your wagon away or for not doing your chores. I couldn't help it. I'm sure you couldn't. I know you must have had a good reason. But why did you leave Lassie tied up in the barn? What, what was your reason for that? Can I please go to my room now? All right, darling. Can I have the collar and leash? They're over on the icebox. Take your books, too. They're on the sink. I think they're dry by now. They're not mine. Oh? Whose books are they? Billy Watson. You know what I'd do if he were my son? I know exactly what you'd do. What rights he got acting up that way? Same right you'd have if you were disturbed. Disturbed about what? Because he couldn't uh, trap a woodchuck or catch a tree toad? What's he got to be disturbed about? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Evidently, Billy Watson was here this afternoon. Could be. They had a fight. They're always squabbling about something. Well, as soon as we're through, I'm going to call Alma. How are you going to call with the phone out? <laughs> Forgot about that. Well, maybe it'll be working by the time we're finished. The winds died down. Close the door. Oh, uh, hello, Jenny. Ellen Miller. I tried to get you before, but the phone's been out of order. Wind, I guess. Rain, more than wind. Washed out a pole at the North Fork. Oh. Uh, can you call Alma Watson for me, Jenny, please? Ellen, haven't you heard? Didn't Jeff tell you? Tell me what? About poor Alma. I must have called every place on the line looking for Billy. I sure thank my lucky stars he was with Jeff up at your place. I couldn't have told him for the life of me. Jeff told him. Well, told him what, Jenny? About the accident. Accident? Well, what accident? Yes. Yes. Oh, good heavens. So, when I finally located Billy up at your place, I asked Jeff to tell him, and he said he would, not to worry, and he'd go on home with Billy. You got a fine boy there, Ellen. A real fine boy. Thank you, Jenny. Well, I, I'm just shocked. I don't know what to say. Oh, yes, of course. I'll run over there just as soon as I finish the dishes. But, yeah. 
Thanks, Jenny. What happened? Alma was driving home from Creston and a trailer truck hit her car at an intersection. Oh, serious? And Jeff had to be the one to tell Billy. No wonder. No wonder. Jeff, why didn't you tell me about Billy's mother? I, I don't want to talk about it. I would have understood. It's a very difficult thing to do. I'm proud of you. Oh, Mom, it was awful. I was crying so hard. I couldn't let him go home alone to cry like that. Of course you couldn't. You did the right thing. I couldn't call you because the phone wasn't working. Hmm. Mom, why do things like that have to happen to people? I heard the doctor say Billy's mother might... an accident, Jeff. You can't protect yourself from accidents by shutting yourself in a room. Well, I'm not going to let anything happen to you or Gramps or Lassie. Jeff, is, it, is that why you tied Lassie up in the barn? Is that why she's tied now? Yes. I don't want to run out in the road and getting hurt like Billy's mother. I'm going to keep her on a leash always. Oh, now, darling, snap out of this. What happened to Billy's mother was terrible and tragic. But you can't go through life thinking something bad's going to happen to everyone. <laughs> now take the collar and leash off, Lassie. Go out and collect the eggs. I have to do the dishes, but we'll talk about this later. You could have if you'd carried the basket with two hands. Jeff, this nonsense of keeping Lassie on a leash has gone far enough. I'm going to have a talk with you the minute I get back. Now put your wagon in the barn. Time. Where's Mom going? Pay a call on the Watson, see if there's anything she can do. Road will be muddy. Ain't much tread in them front tires, so drive careful. Better have a little talk with him, huh? Wait till I get back. All right. Mom, please don't go. Jeff. You don't have to go tonight. You're sick. What are you talking about? And anyway, the front tires on the car aren't so good. You might skid and run into a tree and... Oh, Jeff, don't do this to me. You know why I have to go into town tonight as well as anyone. But please, please, don't send me away in fear. I don't send you off to school that way, do I? Bicycles are sometimes dangerous. Did you know that? Boys have accidents on them. 
But I don't make you afraid to ride one. And I don't worry all day that you'll be hurt because I... because I trust you. Oh, please, Jeff, send me off the same way. In love and confidence, not in fear. Have faith in me. How about a game of checkers? I don't think so. You and me haven't played in a long time. Lassie! Stop! What is it? Oh, I had Lassie tied to the bumper. Do you realize, Jeff, what would have happened if Lassie hadn't broken the leash? Remember that. Let your mother go. But where's Lassie? We'll find her, we'll find her. She's not here, Gramps. Gotta be around someplace. Lassie! Well, don't worry now. She'll come back. I don't like her being out all alone at night. Now, look, don't worry about her. She'll come back when she's good and ready and not until. Now, let you and me go and play some checkers, huh? Would you please, dear? How's Alma? Dr. Stewart thinks she's going to be all right. Hmm. Thank you, dear. Sit down, Jeff. Billy's mother's going to be all right. So you see, the, the thing you were afraid of didn't happen. Jeff. You mustn't ever be ashamed of being afraid. Everyone's afraid of something, sometime or other. Of loneliness, hunger, or danger. But you mustn't be afraid of things happening to people. Who said I was? Well, no one has to say it. You tied up Lassie because you were afraid something would happen to her. And you didn't want me to go into town tonight because you were afraid I wouldn't come back. But it, it's all right, sweetheart. We understand the reason for it. But it's an empty fear, Jeff. I, I loved your father very much. And I lost him. And then one day, I, I turned around and, and looked at you. Really looked at you. And I saw his eyes, his mouth, and his wonderful smile. I saw him all over again. And I felt warm and safe for the first time. It's how it has been and, and always will be. Is an old Irish saying, God never closes one door, but he opens another. One more thing, sweetheart, about Lassie. You can't imprison those you love or keep them on a leash. If you love them, you trust them and have faith in them. Now, Suppose you get undressed and get into bed. And don't worry about Lassie. She'll be back. She has faith in you.
darling. <laughs> Jeff, I have a surprise for you. Flassie! Oh, oh. She's probably been under there all along. One place she felt safe and protected. Lassie, come back. She was under the bed. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore. Honest, I'm not. I don't know what you mean about having faith. If Lassie has it, I guess I can have it too.